Hey y'all, Yo Sammy Sims here and welcome to my channel. Um, if you saw my previous video, I'm doing two in one day. So if you've seen my previous one, you would know that it's Veterans Day. You know what happens on Veterans Day. Free food. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit, just a little bit. Um, while I do this video. I got that chicken, uh, don't get me lying. Chicken ganache, nachi, noki, something like that. I got that. Um, that's probably like the only soup that I get from there. I don't even eat out Olive Garden uh, that often because it's it's just not it's just not authentic. At least that's what I think. So I just finished my first week at ALI. Just want to give my experience a little bit of. For me, what it was for me going into the class and everything, how my first week went. So as you saw in my previous video, I got to school a day late due to some uh, outdated information that was given to me um, about class. So that's what happened. My, my uh, Their second day was actually my first day. Um, um, looking around, you know, just paying attention to everyone, just seeing who they are and everything, seeing how they carry themselves, seeing how they talk. And the first day, the first day, we were already like getting up and discussing things, having having debates. I was like kind of like behind the scenes because that's that's kind of normally how I am. Like um, I am talkative when I'm comfortable. I don't have a problem with talking and, and speaking up and speaking to people. But if I'm not comfortable and I don't know who any of these people are, I'm in a new environment, I'm in a new state, I don't know what's going on. Every day is new to me, you know? So I was kind of like behind the scenes just trying to feel everybody out in the class to see like, okay, you know, just to get a little more comfortable knowing what the norm is uh, day to day. But every day is different, you know, like, I mean, I see a little pattern, like, we'll come to class, he'll, the, the instructor will be like, okay, let's do like some type of exercise. Let's get into groups, let's do briefings, let's do this, let's do that. Um, I'm not good at being put on the spot. I hate it. And when I'm being put on the spot, my anxiety goes up. My anxiety goes up to the point where I can't even think. It, it goes up to the point where I'm shaking, but I'm not even cold. <laughs> you know, like it's, it's crazy. But it's all in your mind. You know, like, it's only your mind. Like I said, I ain't had no problem with doing it before. Like, before I do get a little anxiety, but I always like push myself and be like, okay, just hurry up and talk, say what you need to say, and sit down. And, and it wasn't all the time either. You know, it's like, with this class, my second day, I don't know y'all. And then we start talking about things that I, I don't fully know. What makes it harder for me is that I really don't know because I've only been in the Air Force for about a year and some change. So all they talk about is Air Force stuff. And I feel like I don't know what y'all talking about. I did explain to the instructor, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm prior Army National Guard. Uh, I was even an MP. So like, you know, I can only relate to anyone that's from security forces at the Air Force, which you only got two. One's active that wants to be guard and one's, one's reserve, I believe. No, one's a guard. He's guard. So when I told him that, he was like, oh, all right. That's, that's all right. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I was like, is it? Like, I don't think it's, you know, because of what I've been through and everything. I'm like, is it? You really find that interesting? I guess it is. Cause now um, I'm doing a completely different job. Um, I was military police in the army, but I switched, I did a career switch. Now I'm personnel or administration at the Air Force. 
So it's it's a complete 180, complete. So I feel like I really don't know. Like I don't know nothing. I don't know my job. I don't know the Air Force. I don't know the Airman's Creed. I don't know nothing, you know, like. <laughs> Then the next day, I remember he he announced it to the class. But what I should have did, what I should have did to break the ice was because everyone already met each other um, and know a, a little a, their background a little bit. I should have said to him, "Can I speak and and give like a not a briefing, but you know, like a little introduction of me, so people can know me because we I haven't formally been haven't formally been introduced to any of y'all." So that's what I should have did, but it's it's already too late. He already said to the class how I'm prior service and some of the lingos and everything that they be saying, I don't really know. And if we can just help each other out, then we'd be cool. So um, I would say that to everyone too. Um, I don't I don't actually talk, like when we have our uh, group discussions where we're just spouting out things back and forth across the room and everything. I don't really talk when they do that. I just listen or I'm trying to understand what they're saying. I'm just listening. And then I want to say something, but I'm not really saying anything. <laughs> Due to ner uh, being nervous, because I found out that I'm afraid of failure. I don't even know these people, but I don't want to look like I failed in front of these people. Like I want to look like I know what I'm doing. I'm prepared all the time, but sometimes it's not always like that, especially when you're giving briefings. There's been many times where I was in the army because all it's like all we did was briefings. It's funny because I can't actually remember them. Like I can remember them, but I never gave one. I probably gave one that I could think of and I was like a nervous wreck. But um, I remember on the army side, they, um, sergeants were given briefings to do and they didn't know nothing about them either or they didn't have enough time to prepare and they would just have to wing it and, and do it and make sure people understand. And that's how it is in the military. So that's how the instructor would try to say it to us and everything. Like, yo, there's gonna be times where you're gonna be given something, only got five minutes to go over the outline or the PowerPoint and you gotta present it. So you gotta, you know, you gotta know how to do impromptu speech. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, I, I don't like that. I am not good on the spot, not at all. Mm -mm, no ma'am, no ham, no bam. That was my first week. Um, I wanted to do a weekly video about ALS because every day stressed me out. Every day I come back to my hotel and I'm mentally exhausted. I'm definitely not trying to scare anyone that could be going to ALS soon or anything. You need to get out of your mind, get out of that thinking that you have, try to get out of that anxiety, try to get out of that nervousness if you have that when it comes to public speaking. Because like I said, I can talk. It's when they give me things to talk about that I have no idea what it is. And I don't wanna look like a fool. I don't want to look like a failure. I want to look like the type of leadership that I'm trying to be right now. And I feel like when they throw this curveball at me, I feel like I'm dumb. I feel like I'm inexperienced. I feel like everyone else is better than me in this situation right here. When it's not the case. Also, I'm the type of person where I'm hard on myself but I do it to make myself better, to keep myself motivated, to get myself to where I need to be. So this is all I have to say. Um, I'm already at 19 minutes right here. I'm sorry. Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If you are going out to ALS, this is um, my first week here. I just gave you my experience of what happened on my first week. Um, it's it's going to get smoother. It is. I know it'll be for me and I know it'll be for any of you guys, if you guys are going out to ALS or tech school or anything like that. Um, if you have any questions, you know, it is time for a give and take. Uh, I gave my experience out to you guys. I'd like to hear you guys' experience. If you have any questions, you can put in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to speak to you guys if you have anything, uh, if you want to share anything. Um, yeah, so you'll be seeing another video um, by the end of this week, or I'll record another video by the end of this week, and you'll see that. And just to see my progress with this class. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in on this channel in this video. And thanks. Bye.